Hello! Welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. My name is Caroline and this is episode 43. You can find me online everywhere as Kralaline. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Ravelry. Where are you? You look, you can find me there. Um, there is a blog with show notes, which is blog.kralaline.nl. There's also a Ravelry group, which is the Colorful Creativity group in the Ravelry group section. And of course, I have an Etsy shop which is kalaline.etsy.com So, welcome everyone, all new viewers. I hope you like it here. And uh, you subscribe down here, so you will become a returning viewer. And all returning viewers, I'm happy you are back again and spending some time of your day with me. So, a lot has happened in two weeks. We went from a bathroom to no bathroom to almost a new bathroom again. So I will put in some photos at the end and I guess you know me for a while, most of you. So you don't know my taste in colors and that bathroom is no surprise to anyone. <laughs> yep, we went for a rainbow bathroom. I can spoil that fun already and make you want to look at the photos very, very quickly. So if you uh, can find me on Facebook. I have some photos there from the whole process and on Instagram I have a few occasional shots. I didn't want to blurb it all on Instagram and in my Instagram is my yarn and happy place so the bad days with tearing the whole walls and floor down were not in there and the photos of me crying with my head, uh, my ear protection on. I did not post those online. They are just for the private collection or for WhatsApp and that kind of messaging. So yeah, let's just start with the yarn stuff because even though not much has happened, there was still some knitting. First, let's start with this cute tea project bag, which I got from the Geeky Puff and Nick Palooza and uh, take a table and I still have to fix it because when I zip it the fabric on the inside gets stuck and um, where I do my top stitching through top and bottom here's the top stitching just in the top and not on the inside so I have to fix that and I haven't found out how, how I can do that without disassembling the whole thing I opened up the inside and then I found out I can't do it that way because I would you make the same mistake. Oh well, but in here is the newest Sock Madness! Yes, yes, yes! And we already have a hole. You know me. The pattern came out on Saturday, I think. Yes, Saturday, because we were busy Saturday, so it came out at 8 a.m. in the morning. I was not able to start until 3 p.m.-ish, so I cast on. I did that horrible corrugated ribbing, which I apparently pretty much hate. Then, on Sunday, I was like, and I'm gonna do nothing all day long. We had the whole day off, we just stayed at home, well, not really, um, we went for a walk, 45 minutes, like a few kilometers walking first in the morning, very early, 9am, 9, 9 and after that I was like, fuck it, I will not do anything, and I just knit the whole cuff and the heel flap, and I think even the heel turn, and I picked up the stitches, and Monday... I was able to knit the whole foot. I think I even did already the whole gusset decrease. Yes, because I was aiming for the sheep and I just barely managed. I was here and then this is what I did on Monday. And of course on Monday I cast on a new sock. So yeah, I knit this whole Fair Isle color work sock in barely 48, 50 hours. I think it's madness, it's getting me. But I have to say for now it's going really really slow so 
I am taking my time for the second sock. The pattern is called Lambs and Chickens and Bunnies. Oh my! And it is by Ross Clarkey. And it's really, really cute. It, it, it really is. And I have a black and white printer, so it's horrible to see. That's why I printed out another copy of the uh, color work chart with symbols instead of black and white. <laughs> so you have a gray scale and you can't see anything. And then I got my coloring book, uh, box of, of uh, pencils and then I started coloring in the symbols, which is really helpful. So here you can see it better because we have sky with white and then sheep and then grass and then bunnies and more greenish with chickens and then on the foot there's more sheep um, again with this color work it doesn't fit nope nothing it doesn't even fit my mother-in-law who has pretty tiny and petite everything and she can't make it through the heel turn there's not enough stretch in here um, what I have planned, because I already knit 10 more rows in the foot than necessary, is rip it out until the lifeline, knit 10 more rows, then do a toe, and do a sock surgery. I will knit a cuff in this color, then I will, I think it will be a shorty sock. I will just knit a normal 2x2 two two ribbing cuff, and I will just cut this sock here, where the color work. And, and then I will put in the cuff by kitchenering it together. And then I will have my own sock with just some tiny sheep at the foot. Because I actually don't really like the whole leg part. It's cute, but it's just not for me. I am, however, is I knit this on a three millimeter needle. I knit the foot on a 2.5 millimeter and this again on a thicker needle, which is a 3.75 millimeter needle. Ridiculous for sock knitting, 3.75. But this whole sock, so this is the second one, and as you can see, I'm going really slow for casting it on two days ago. I just don't have the time or the energy. And I have an itchy nose, sorry. And it does fit me now on a 3.75 millimeter needle. Just no. I don't like how it looks. It's too big. So this is not gonna happen for me. This will be ripped just like this one. And I will just knit on with it until it's finished. I just finished the sheep today. And apparently the whole bathroom remodeling with someone in my house needing to get coffee sometimes, or uh, just taking a break, having to check out his work, etc, etc, is so distracting that I couldn't knit. I can tell you he's gone now. It's Wednesday today, day 11 in the hole. We have people in the house. And I was not here for day one and two. And maybe, no, day three. Yeah, I missed three days. All the other days I did, the first three days were Roberts. So, and then Friday they will come and install things. So that will be Roberts day as well, but I'll be at home. I just don't have to do anything. We'll be at home together. And uh, yeah, so apparently having someone in the house is not helpful. Doing this in a weekend is. So, yeah. I hope after recording the podcast I can go on with this one and I can do the color work today and finish the foot tomorrow because tomorrow is a holiday in Holland for King's Day which is nice Robert will be at home and I guess we'll be cleaning our house getting things back on its in its place already because they don't have to make a mess anymore it's all clean clean work what they'm gonna do Tomorrow they will put in the potty in the corners, even though it's a holiday, he said, I'm going to come by. Because if I do it today, it's not going to stick. Because the, the little things between the tiles are still wet. <sighs> Whatever. I'm fine with everything. I just want it to be pretty and pretty quickly over with. I want to shower in my own house. 
So, yeah. As for yarn I'm using, it's a whole lot. I am using uh, GB Sprint in this color, in the yellow, and also the Aqua is GB Wolf Sprint. And yes, this stuff will soon be online, finally. If I can reach it again, I will take photos and put it online in my Etsy shop. So you can buy pretty simple, basic sock yarn. Then there's the hot sock from Grundle. The bright green I'm using is Signature 4 Ply by West Yorkshire Spinners. Um, the white one for the sheep is Opal. And then I have this one, the main color, which is a Strompegaan from Denmark. And there is no brand name on it further. So no clue what that is. It's just a no name sock yarn. Because that is what Strompegaan means. And if my pronunciation of the Danish word is horrible, I'm sorry. I do not know how it is pronounced. Let me know if you know how it is. So that one is back in its project bag, which I can put on the ground because there's no cats. Still sleeping at the in-laws and yeah, I really don't like that. But hey, we have to manage. Then I want to show you a nice new project because we had to wait for the new pattern. And of course I was finished early with those Mod Madness socks. So I had a week of what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? So in my Tonya Stitches bag is something you might recognize. Ta-da! Let me put that needle out. This is my second exploration station and I think I knit the first almost six wedges. It's six wedges the first clue and I am like this far out of that one being finished in three days. I only knit on this because I had fun. Yeah, if you finish a lot of stuff you can cast on new stuff. So it's the same colors as, of course, my original one. I'm just changing orders. So here you can see this one. Here is the new one. So the, the aqua is now where the orange is in this one and I do not particularly like it in this part, but I'm pretty sure I will like the other parts because the brioche and the other two sections will become really, really pretty with the new color changes. So I'm looking forward to those parts, but I have to rustle to last wedge first. I am knitting these on higher, higher sharps, four millimeter. What else? High high sharps. Always. Well, almost always. And I have got uh, the same yarn again, which is colorful, super soft merino something something. I never took it in production because the yarn base is way too expensive and it would mean it cost a fortune. So I kept it all to myself. And uh well, you can see the four colors I'm using. The aqua, the dark blue, the vanilla with speckles and the orange. And I really love this. I shouldn't be doing that because I put makeup on my face. But still, it's so tempting. So let me put this one away again. I'm really, really curious how this one will look. And since I wear my first exploration station all the time, I was like, I could easily make a new one and wear that one as well. Of course, the exploration station is by Stephen West, for those of you who want to know who the designer is. And 
What can I say about that? Nothing, I guess. I have to finish it soon so I can wear it. It's probably gonna go a whole lot faster than the first one, as I know my brioche now. Next up, knit and stitch bits bag. It is my match and move shawl. Not a lot of action, just these couple of rows. And I have a mistake somewhere, I my stitch count is off, but frankly, I don't think you can see it. <laughs> if I missed one increase on one side, I guess I can fix it by just knitting one extra row before color changing. That one stitch won't really make a difference. I am using for this yarn from London which I bought last year. Five inches four ply by Fiber Spades. That's the blue one. And the one I really, really love from this set is this one. Ziggy Stardust from I Knit or Die. So, I guess those were not my whips because I forgot one. And I will get that now in my colorful creativity bag. Neon is my neutral. And these are Hermione's everyday socks. And I am doing these according to pattern, cuff down now, just the way you're supposed to. And yeah, I added a few stitches and I hope they will fit me now because I'm knitting these on 2.25 millimeter needles. Also high, high sharps. Um, the yarn is a bit thinner than my more plump sock yarn and I really like it if it's nice and tight and not too open so yeah I thought I would go down a needle size I am not nearly there where I want to be this colorway is called spring explosion and um, there's even two one or two of these still in the shop but there's a contrasting highlighter <laughs> yellow with that, I thought it was nice to have a, a slightly lighter cuff with that sock. Yeah, I really like how this knits. And after I finish my sock madness sock, I will continue on this one because I really like to have a sock at hand. And then I have to show you something else because this is just too nice. When I showed Robert the Star Wars project bag I made last uh, two weeks ago, he was like, hmm, I might have, have to start knitting then myself. So on that one day, we didn't have to do anything that Sunday. I gave him yarn and this is not cheap, cheap yarn. This is Quince and Co. Lark. I thought, I'm going to start a new knitter. I want to start a good new knitter with like a yarn snob. With me as a yarn snob in the house, there won't be anything else in the house. So yeah, I started him on that. And well, let me see this mess with needles. Yeah, here it is. We started a cowl. And I first wanted to let him knit in a round, but he couldn't manage to get his needles and with too little space here and then he would have to fidget everything. I just, uh, I see a mistake now. But he was like, I cannot move, I cannot move. So he didn't like that. So I gave him magic loop and it is better. I think he did one, two, yeah. He did three rows. I did the fourth one to correct his mistakes. <laughs> I think I dropped stitches. Yeah, you didn't. I made some extra stitches. Yeah, you did. He didn't drop any stitches. He just, um, here you can see what happened. He did, he didn't really pull through. He slipped both the yarn over and the stitch. So 
that's what you get when you learn to knit, I guess. And I think there's only one of them in there. And after those days, he didn't even. I think he only got it once more and then he was like, I don't feel up to it. I'm so tired. We both are really tired. We've been sleeping too little and doing too much. If we wanted to shower, we had to go to my in-laws and you don't have your evening to yourself because you have to go out. And yeah, it's just, it's a good thing. After this, the next few days, the whole renovation thing is over. And I really hope I can get my husband to knit more. And no, he doesn't have the Star Wars bag at the moment because he wasn't knitting. So I, I used that for my project and I switched some things around. I was like, yeah, you don't knit, so you don't need it. I still have to make a new one for me because I want one. It was mine. So I have some fabric left. I will use that, but I couldn't get the zippers or the extra fabric I want and also couldn't get to the inside fabrics so I was like I have to wait I'm bad at patience sometimes I want to make more project bags because I'm going to show you something ahead of time look I've been making a project bag on my own sewing machine I was like why did I put this off that long I love my sewing machine. I really, really love it. So, yeah, I hope to be making more project bags soon and put them in the shape. With only one project bag, I think it's not worth it. Or if you have a different opinion, you really love that project bag, let me know. I will just sell it to you. The inside, I can show you even. London Underground. And London picks on the outside, and the inside is a red and white polka dot. Really, really cute. That's dead. Wow. I don't have any more whips. So I'm going to start with acquisitions. And the first one, of course, arrived just after recording the previous episode. Which is an order with... Sock blockers. And these are way too small for me. These are size 37 to 39 EU. I think it's about 9 inch for international sizing. And these were totally not expensive. So I was like, okay, I can get some and use them for my sock madness socks. And I can tell you. That one with the color work doesn't even fit on here. I just knit too tight. And one does not only order sock blockers if they are not expensive. So I had to buy these as well because, well, Volmet Verve is really, really a beautiful indie dyer. I really love her style and I love these minis. These two are Merino Sock Yarn in my favorite colors. And this one is Electric Avenue, which is a pure Merino. And if I'm not mistaken, I have this colorway on a kit silk as well from her, which is awesome. Also really, really soft and I will not squish them and make them dirty. So yeah, next, 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 next. That wasn't the only thing that came. Because I got this one from my dear friend Undercover Otter. And she was closing up her shop because of her being too busy dying for the yarn along by Stephen West. And yeah, I was like, I really like that. This is a one of a kind, so Plum Igor. Uh, Igor are her experiments. Or her yeah we don't want to call it mistakes they are just one of a kind and they don't appear too often so i was like i'm gonna buy that from you because i love it and i really really love this probably for in a find your fade i have a whole range going from purplish to mint green that i think that would make awesome fade and this one matches that 
perfectly. It really completes it. I only had six skeins and I needed a seventh one. I could dye it myself or I could buy it from Petra. And I just wanted to buy it. <laughs> and then I have bought, since I was sewing again, I was like, I can't buy any fabric until I make bags again. If I never get on that machine again, what would I do with all the fabric? Well, I made bags so I could buy fabric. I saw a really pretty fabric online. And I was like, oh, I would love a project bag with that. So I had to buy it. Patriot kitty cats and it's upside down. I'm sorry. Here you can see. I love kitty cats. You know me. You know me. And then with this as a lining kitty cat paws. Or even this one as a lining. More kitty cat paws. And then there was another cute kitty cat fabric. This one. Look at it. Too freaking cute. And with matching lining with kitty cat paws. So yeah. I guess when my washing machine works again I can finally wash these. It's just not hooked up. It's not that it's not it's broken, but our washing machine is in the bathroom. And we don't have water there, etc. So, yeah, those were my acquisitions. The really big acquisition I ordered on Sunday, and um, it is still coming. And I will not spoil that fun and wait for it until it's time. So then we have shop news. And last week I had a shop update, and I had about 12, no more, I think it was 14 skeins of No Rainbows Without Rain. For those of you who remember, that's the sock yarn with grey with a really tiny strip of rainbows, which I made socks from for myself and showed last time. And this is what the yarn looks like in a skein. That shop update sold out within 15 hours. So for those of you who missed it, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. I actually sold out twice because I picked out the sweater quantities. There were two people who bought a sweater quantity and I was like, if I buy a sweater quantity, I want one dye bath, just one. I want to make sure it's as close as possible, even though it's indie dyed and it cannot be exactly the same. I want it as close as possible. I do not want it from three or four different batches where I mixed bases so I could get more bases in instead of more of one base. So yeah, I am dyeing this like a mad woman again. I have now dyed six and I have prepped another six. Those are the sweater quantities and then I will start dyeing for the shop again. And if you ever find something like that in my yarn that I forgot to cut it out, it is because this is the way I make sure that the dye baths are separated and that I know which skeins go together because I dye them as the whole um, sweater quantity at once. So I make sure they are almost exactly the same. So all the color is from the same uh, amount of yarn, uh, dye I make and all the gray is exactly the same temperature as it went in, etc. So I really try my best to make them all the same. So if you ever want a sweater quantity of this, let me know, send me a message and I will just dye that up for you as a custom order because then I'm feeling better about the part that is from one dye bath and not from three, which might really differ because that gray is always different. It is a moody, cloudy sky and that's what it's supposed to be and that's how it is. And that means it's, it, it changes. Just like the weather in April, we've got hail, we've got rain, we've got sunshine, we've got freezing cold weather and wind. It's just the way it is. So, having said that, I am 
trying to do another update next week. So you can put that in your calendar. You can subscribe to my newsletter, which is to be found at bit.ly slash colorful creativity. Or you can click the link in the subscription, in the subscription box, no, in the information box here on YouTube. Or the link is also on my blog in the show notes. And it's also on my website, www.kalalin.nl. So yeah, blurb. <laughs> If you uh, subscribe to the newsletter, you'll be the first to know when the update is and you can put it in your calendar or whatever you want. Then I have been dyeing more stuff. I dyed up this one. And this looks like some kind of unicorn barf. I knew, I knew. But it knits up really, really pretty. These are like, like tiny stripelets of rainbow. And that is what I'm gonna call them, I think. These are stripelets. They are not stripes, they are stripelets. Just one and a half row on a, this is a 2.5 millimeter needle and 64 stitches, so sock. With, I guess with a child sock, you would have like three rows. So they would be really striping, but for this grown-up size, they are striplets. So a short self-striping yarn, which I think is really, really pretty. And I, more people told me it's really, really pretty. So this is going into production. And I really hope I can manage to pull it off and dye it for next week. Or if not, it's gonna be the, the shop update after. That's not all I got for the shop update next week. Because just two minutes before starting to record this podcast, this came in. Opal has some new sock yarn and it's called Mein Socken Design. So My Sock Design. And this colorway is called Over the Rainbow. And apparently this lady designed it and she's just as happy with rainbows as I am. And I know you are. And it knits up like this. So I love this one in shop. That's not the only one because I really love the color on this one as well. You can see the designer again. And this one is Firebird or Firefogel. Here you can see it. And these are pretty new colorways of Opal yarn. And you know, I incidentally buy some Opal yarn because I like the design, just like the Christmas socks last year. And now this one. So yeah. Those are going to be in the shop with Dave. <laughs> one more thing I wanted to tell you about is my head pattern. I am almost there. And it's going to be published at the end of April. Which is ridiculous. Because who needs a head in summer? Maybe people who are going to the north or the south pole. But yeah. Sorry about that. But still. I am going to publish it because, well, it is the time to publish now. Finally, I got myself to lay out, to do the editing. It's been tech edited, it's been test knitted, and it's been perfectly well. So I just have to wrap it up and publish, which I will do soon. And I will announce that in a newsletter. And there will be more exciting things in the newsletter because I know that uh, Tanya Oswald, the crochet designer who does the Year of Mitts, is going to publish her pattern with my yarn soon. I will also show you uh, where you can find that in the newsletter. Um, which means probably the newsletter will come out at March, uh, May 1st, which is Monday. So if you want to subscribe, uh, go to the links I just talked about. And yeah, I guess... That was all I wanted to tell you about shop and, and colorful creativity news. So I can put my notes away. And I can show you now all the photos of my bathroom. And I really hope you like that. There are no cats still. And I miss them like crazy. But I have to say, sometimes it's kind of easy that they are not around. Because the workers leave the door open every time. And 
I can just go away without checking where the cats are. But most of all, it's really quiet in the house and I miss the fun that they make and the crazy things they do. So next weekend, they will be home again. Yay, only a few more days and we will have everything back to normal. Well, I will see you again soon. Hopefully in the newsletter or otherwise here or in the Ravelry group or in the comments here on YouTube. And um, I would say have a wonderful two weeks. Bye bye.